Big up, 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 big up. Give thanks to the login, give thanks to the login. Wag one day, wag one day, wag one day, Sunday morning, wag one day. Um, here we go now. We just want to say, you know, respect to all of the ancestors and we pave the way so we can dare so. Seeing? We can dare so a reason. Out of the chains and the shackles, them, the literal chains and shackles, them. They are the physical chains and shackles, them. We want to give thanks. You understand? For all the people who fight and fight and fight for the freedom out of the physical chains and shackles them. I um, also want to give thanks to the, um, the warriors them who stand up to oppression and stand up to racism and stand up to um, injustice. And um, all the people them, you know, whether you're black, white, pink or blue, from you stand up for righteousness and stand up for justice and stand up for peace. We are your brother, you understand? And we are your, your, um, your family. See? Um, the reason this morning, um, the reason this morning is, is going to be from Genesis 38. From last week, I did one, drop the piece of reasoning. Yeah. Um, just to make sense, remember we're doing a series, we're doing a, a, a biblical series. Um, every Sunday when, 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 time, when time is allowed, um, we're doing a, when we're afforded the time, we, we, we will be doing a, um, a biblical series. So we, we, we in Genesis, we're in the book of Genesis. This week we're doing Genesis 38, but that does not mean we will not go back to Abraham's story in the earlier part of the Genesis. You understand? But for now, for today, we're going to do Genesis 38. Because I think it is important for us to um, try reason from a biblical standpoint with, with science and, and, and critical thinking. It's, it's, it's directly important for us to reason. When we are reasoning about this, 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 this doctrine... Right? We reason about this doctrine. It's directly important that we reason about it in a, with an open mind, first of all. We need to have an open mind because, um, again, we're not here to sow seeds of division. We're here to try to get people to unite. Um, and, and one way to get us to unite is if we think, if we really think you know, of who we are as a people, we realize that you know, you know, you know, blood runs through the whole of our vein and the whole of our bleed red. So if we start think as a people, we realize that nobody no better than nobody, no matter how much money you have, no matter your status in a life. You're no better than nobody because guess what now? You go out the road and a car crash with you with all your money where you have. You understand? You're just like the man with the dead poor. You're just like the man where, where, where the car crash with him, where, 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 where poor and not have anything. You understand? So what you going to do? You understand? You can't take all of the riches with you um, to the grave. You see? All of the riches that we did I use now to, to put yourself above people, to make yourself seems um superior to the in, to, to people who you deem inferior that 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 that, that no count you understand one go you go out there in your big pretty car no matter your car pretty so kobe bryant um walk in peace you know he he he, he 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 was worth millions millions kobe was worth about half a billion you understand and one like, helicopter crash you understand you know you know you can't take a dollar with him you know however him leave Inheritance him youth them and him wife and so forth. You know, we don't know so much about him mother and him father. Cause he come like him not really leave nothing for them or him not two in them. Him never two in them. So I may say, but you know, some people may look upon it and I say, I know your mother and your father in your days may be longer, but it must be something that you know, something go wrong in the relationship. But we don't want to get into that still because they're not too my business that still. But it's just kinda of obvious that the mother and the father them never did mention them at the funeral still, but I don't really, really my business that still coming don't know some man when they get when them get a different type of queen, you know. You know, them totally you know feel like say, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you understand? You understand? You no. Know? Yeah, let me check in with my brother Dotty I make certain say Dotty is up on the program. Give me a second, let me check in with Dotty. Cause you know say Facebook basically lock off some of the people them. For, for this week alone, Facebook removed um two thousand people from my page. 2,000 people. I watch the numbers just going down. Like, I, I, every day I get up, I see 100 people gone, 200 people gone. Like, Facebook, I remove the people from my page. And I guess these people that are being removed from my page is people that come on here and listen to the reasoning and, 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 and subscribe um, to the reasoning. You understand? And then these people go now and posting things and getting even mean problem because Facebook now think that I am... You know, being influential to some people, so they come like they're removing the people them. When I'm not being influential to the people them, it's just the people them realize that what I'm saying, you know, kind of makes some sense and I'm doing them own research because, again, I am not asking nobody to follow me. I am not a cult leader. You understand? I'm just, I'm trying to, 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 to um, get people to think critical. 
You understand? I'm just trying to get people to use their brain. Because I, I, I for one know that if you exercise the brain, yeah, you, you're going to be more cognizant of the things them where um, people wanted to, 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 to subscribe to. You see what I'm saying? So, this is not, I'm not trying to sow any form of seeds of division or trying to build any, any group or any organization to take down any government or, or to, to go against any religious factors. You understand? So, I'm not here trying to build a, a, a coalition to go against the church or to go against anyone. What I am doing is, and this is not just a black people, this message is not just a black people because I know white people have a brain too. And if I can show black people that, listen to me, this thing was implemented to keep you submissive. And if a white brother come and, and hear or see what I'm talking about, then he can understand why, you know, the black brothers and the black sisters um, are in such a um, um, state of poverty. You understand? So even though I'm speaking directly to, to, to the black people, them is because black people, I need to speak to them directly. You understand? Because they are the ones who, who are being more oppressed and, and, and less attention is, 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 is um, directed at, 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 at poor people. I just came from the Dominican Republic. We went down into to, to this place. It's like, you know, it reminds me of Jamaica. Some places in Jamaica, but it's more, it's more ghetto. You know, you know, get more ghetto than this, but we went to shoot a Yama video and we can't see the poverty. You understand? We can't see the poverty. We see it. You understand? In some places, not even police go. Not even police go at them place there. And then people, them do what they have to do to survive. And they have, them have a dan around the place and they dan around the place the best way they can. You understand? Because people have to do, do, find ways to survive. See? So again, let me just put this, this, this disclaimer one more time. The disclaimer is, I am not doing this for anyone to stop going to church. For anyone to stop serving their Jesus. For anyone to stop serving their God. For anyone to follow me. This is not what it is about. If you want, if you hear the reasoning and you want to think about it and you want to research it, that is on you. I'm past the stage where I'm telling people that this, that, 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 that. No, no, I'm past that. Because at the end of the day, you have to do what you want to do. You understand? You have to find it in yourself to find the God in you, to find the Christ in you. Me can't find the Christ in you. You have to deal with that. Me can't find the God in you. You have to find the God in you. Me can't come, come find the God in you. And my duty that. My duty is to find the God in me. And when I find the God in me, I let my light shine. So you can see some of the God in me. That means I try to do things, you know, to be a better human being. I try to help people as the best way I can. You understand? Reach out to people. Live love with the people. Don't use celebrity status and big chain around my neck and big ring on my finger to show that I'm better than people and crown in my mouth. I don't need to do that to prove that I am better than you. You understand the glasses I have on about $20 feet, I must about $19.99. It does me that, it does natural. It does a natural being here, look at me, no height, me no show off on people. You understand me walking, I look at sweatpants and go where me I go. Sometimes you see me, me look pop down. It does me that because at the end of the day, I'm not better than nobody. Me have a look at talent when I use and sing and entertain people, and I'm very good at it. You understand? When I go on the stage, I am very good at it because I know that you pay your money to come and see me. So I have to deliver. You understand what you paid for. You understand? So I don't stand on the stage and I don't, I don't practice not singing my song. Like sing a little part and put the mic in the crowd. Hey, Ed, kill him. Mecca. Eds. Skin you. Sing, sing, sing. No, 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 no. You don't need to pay to come and sing. You, 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 if you want to join in the singing, it's on you. But me have to make ways for you join in the singing. Me not come for, you not come for sing with me. You are quiet. Me you never pay you. Me didn't pay you to come and sing at my show. So I have to make certain things. I set the platform so you feel so good that you want to sing. You understand? You feel so good that you want to enjoy the music and you find yourself singing the music. You understand? That is the reason why I think I am still getting shows. Because when I go on the stage, I, I, I put out 100%. So that is what I do. Music. I'm a good singer. But otherwise from that, me not better than you. So when some people think that because I depend on the internet, I may reason with people, me, 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 me localize myself. Yeah, 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 it's on purpose. Me localize myself. Yeah. So you know, if you tell me, say, me, must, me must come off of the internet and go, do, and go find. No, 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 no. Me want to socialize with my people. Them. You understand? Even if it's a robot that talk to me, yeah, me want to socialize with the robot. Because there's going to come a time when the robot is going to start giving you sex to. You understand? So when a woman gives me a bone, I just say, Roby, Roby. Come in, come in, Roby. Roby, 
I am horny, Roby. Come here. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. So let's just get into it. Genesis 38. Genesis 38. Let us jump into it. Let us jump into it. Let us jump into it. Get, get out your Bible. Get out your Bible. Get out your Bible. Genesis 38. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You have two minutes to get your Bible. I talk about this one week. Two minutes to get your Bible. Two minutes and get your Bible. Heal up the valley, heal up the valley. Yeah, man, big up all the people when I'm in here. Call her, big up yourself. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And we have to say ashe to the ancestors. Yeah, ashe, 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 mama Lucille. Ashe to everyone that you understand is there for the eye and the eye and the eye and the eye. See, eye and eye through the struggles. Yeah, man, big up yourself, you know, African. Yeah, man. Unapologetical African. Big up yourself. Always there with me. Emma, big up yourself. See? Big up all the Christian them were there, you know. The Christian them were peeping more time, you know. What, what, what sister there again? What's she name again? Maria. And Maria, she name. We have a sister where always come on and, and, and introduce us to, um, try to introduce us to, to, to script, to, to, um, to people that is proving that Jesus is real. We have a big up, you know. We don't see her today. I, I hope she all right. You know, Desiree, big up yourself. Brett, big up. See, and try, you know, big up on yourself. Stacey Roberts, yeah, man, you always die with mama. Always die with you. See, yeah, man. Well, the sister name, man, I, I guess she would, have, she would have comment later because, you know, some of the people in comment after we, go, we, we come off of the live. Anyway, so make we go, make we go, make we go, make we go, make we go. Princess, big up princess, big up, big up mama. I hope you eat properly, you know, because you go up on your cruise, go junk, go junk out. I hope you eat properly. You see? Yeah. All right, so the book of Genesis 38. See, you know, ready? Now get it, you might want to get some tissue because... Either you're going to cry or you're going to laugh. But we need to get some tissues and to make certain so you're not, you're not miss nothing. See? All right, so let me go. Genesis 38. And it came to pass at that time that Judah went down from his brethren and turned into a certain Adolamite, whose name was Ira. And Judah saw there a daughter of, this, of a certain Canaanite, whose name was Shua. And he took her and went in unto her. Now remember, said the, the, the um, remember the Bible said God is not a man to change his mind, right? All right, mark that down. God is not a man to change his mind. But look at this: Judah went into who? Judah turned into a certain Adolamite, Adolamite, right? Whose name was Hira, and Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite whose name was Shua, and he took her and went in unto her. So what? So why did God change his mind and say? His people, they must not mix with the Canaanites. Yeah? Because remember, this Judah lineage now are going to be a major, major lineage, you know. So, why did God tell his chosen people not to mess with the Canaanites? To the point where Moses went into Canaan and did not touch a woman because God said it is forbidden to mess with the Canaanites. Yeah? I remember, say, at the Canaanites, them, God did send the children of Israel them to wipe out. So here we have it. Judah went into who? A Canaanite. You see that? Judah went into who? A Canaanite. A Negro. Based on location, right? Because you have some people who claim so them out there teach people. True, them want to confuse people. Them tell us that the Canaanites, them are white people. Right? Because they come with this. What them name? They, um, what them, what them call them again? The, 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 the people that come from... Um, but the brother anyway, they are prison, do it, yak. Yeah. Them claims that Canaanites are white people. But look how much part of the location is. Yeah? Anyway. And she conceived and bear a son, and he called his name Er. And she conceived again and bear a son, and she called his name Onan. And she yet again conceived and bear a son, and called his name Shela. And he was at Shezib when she bear him. And Judah took a wife for Er. His firstborn, whose name was Tamar. So Judah now, first youth. Judah, first picnic. Judah, first seed. Judah, first boy. Yeah? Boy. It's a boy and get. Boy, you know, say Judah is a man with a fire. Boy. Boy. Boy again. Boy. Boy again. Boy. You see? Say no, say Judah na ramp. Judah is a man that drink up him okra and him, him okra juice and he eat up him steam fish. Boy, 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 
Boy, boy, boy again. See him? With the, with the, with the who? With the cane tonight. Boy, boy, boy. See him? So Judah said, boom. Son. You know, see, I need a woman now. I find a girl for you, you know. Son said, for real, daddy. You sure about this? Me not too young. I said, what to you, man? What am to you? Young man, what am to you, my youth? Get a girl for you. Boom, I find a girl, give him first band son named Tamar. See? Give him son a girl, Tamar. And her, Judah's first son, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord killed him. Er was wicked, evil in the sight of God. God said, yo, remember, say, me make you, you know. Boom, and lick him down and kill him. And kill Judah. First pitney, first child. Tamar's husband. See him? Tamar's husband. God just said, yo, you're wicked. Boom, and kill him. And Judah said to Onan, Go in unto thy brother's wife. Daddy. Daddy, you sure about that? Yeah, man, I want to hear my, you God kill your brother because I'm wicked. Go on, go, go on, go joke it, man. Too early for that. <laughs> it's too early for that people. It's too early for that in our churches, man. You know, tell me if I make a mistake, you know. Because I tell you to get to the Bible, you know. I don't me open you know, that's your Bible, you know, Dotty. Please get to the Bible. Because I don't want nobody to flag my page so I read wrong. Please. Do me a big one. Get to the Bible. Please. And Judah said to Onan, Go in unto thy brother's wife, and marry her, and raise up the seed of thy brother. But, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Judah said to him, second son, Go on in to your brother's wife. Can you say, marry them dead and never in front of pastor, when you sex somebody out of a marriage. Because I remember Adam and Eve never really go in front of the pastor. So once you, you know, you know, so them call it going unto her, that means you're married to her. So Onan was told by his father to go on in to your, to your brother, your dead brother wife. Go in unto her, man. Go raise up his seeds. But hold on. If the man had carried the genetic, the, the genetic, see? If the man had carried the genes, as we scientists say, why would God want that seed to be raised up when him don't get rid of the... the, the, the you know? Because remember, you know, the, the, the people that believe in this thing, you know, the, the believers, you know, them claim say when God kill children, God will wipe out the seed. Remember when you ask people, say, why God tell Moses to kill the little children them when, he went into the, when, he, when he went to war against the Africans them? Why God wipe out the seeds? He said, yeah, because God will get rid of the lineage. So Judah said to him, son, said, go and go breed your sister-in-law so you can raise up your brother's seed. No. How would that be possible if the man have an identical twin? But, but, you know, with God, all things are possible. So we love God, and we not really question God this morning because we love him. So we not really question God this morning, we just, we just say. You know, we just say. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his. Mm. 
Lord Father up in heaven, we ask you this morning for revelation on what we read. We ask you, you said lean not on our own understanding and believe in your understanding and we lean on your understanding. So we ask the Father this morning to open our mind and open our thoughts and open our understanding that we can understand what we are reading. In Jesus' name, Amen. And Ona knew that the seed should not be his. Even though I impregnate her. The seed and a female. Right, cool. And it came to pass when he went in unto his brother's wife, him go sex her, when he went in and had sex with his brother's wife, that he spilled it on the ground. So you were going now. Oh, on. Daddy, what you saying? If you joke it, all right. Daddy, close the door. Hey, dead brother, you watch. Dead brother. Mm. Mm. Dead brother, say it good. Mm. A long time, God, if you kill your star, we never know how this year have wrong yourself. Mm. I can't breathe, it's time. And now I breathe my brother wife. And I might see that if me breathe it. And I might see that. I not breathe her. And I might see that. And I might ejaculate in her. It's not my sperm cell I will meet with her egg cell. It's my dead brother. So you don't know so me does a me does a go on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go bust my brother juice from the ground now. Boy! Boy, boy, mm -hmm. brother juice, boss a ground. Mm. 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 And he spilled it on the ground, lest he should not give seed to his brother. Boy, Kimali, you reach, you have to rewind Kimali because we now go back. We can recap quickly for Kimali. Kimali, we in Genesis 38. Judah had three sons. One of them, God killed him because he's wicked. Judah tell him second son to go sleep with him brother wife and breed her. That's how it is. Small summary. You must can't catch up because we're not going too far. So we reach at the part where the brother go in and... <clears throat> I know a long time God for kill your blow. Oh, a long time you're dead in a boy. Mm, I hope you're up here, watch. Mm, mm, Tamar. Tamar, the boy did a ramp with it. Hey, Tamar, my brother did a ramp with you. <coughs> boy, 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 you're grown again. Nah, breeder, because that's my brother seed me, I got raise up. I'm in, I'm, I'm a brother. See that me I got boss out. <laughs> so Tamar look round by my thing. Yeah, me think I gotta breed me. Man, I say I want Tamar. Me not raise. Me not. I'm mad, man. Me not. Me not breed your star. Me not breed you. And the thing which she did displeased God. Get your Bible, I don't want nobody to say I read wrong because I must say I'm not too smart. I must say I'm not a member of people, I'm just reading the words. I just say Jamaican where I put action to it. You understand? So, mm, mm. and you know, say them day, they know, man, you see, enough meat so belly big, so you know, say, you know, say belly out, you so, mm, mm, boy, boy, and God begs. Good, good God. We create the sun, the moon, and the star, and the planet, them, and all of these things, and the earth, and all of these things, and create all of these mysterious things. Vex! God get vex! I say, oh, boom! I lick a thunder, boom! I lick a lightning. Oh, boom! I 
a lick of tsunami, a boom a lick of... I say, yo, the man don't breed it. The... Yo, yo, Gabriel, Gabriel, him don't breed it. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, where God killed him. God killed him. One lick. Bloop. Drop a ground. Dead. Bloop. You know how you are ramp with me not tell you breed it. Your father never tell you to breed it. Hmm? Or you go against your father. Anna, your mother, your father. Your father tell you to breed. Your brother, woman. Why you back out your penis and ejaculate? So God... He's watching us when we're having sex. So Christian people, when you're having sex, make certain you're not doing a doggy doggy. Make certain you're not because God is watching us. Because Onan, boy, boy, you're going on God. See how we are up with boy and kill him. So all of the Christian people are say, hey, cock it up and cock it up on the left. Foot. No, mm -mm. Nobody that you your dead behind closed doors, you think say God ain't watching you. So make certain say when you do the missionary. Just and don't whine to on the TikTok. No TikTok in the sex and no buckers. Because you don't want to get boy. Jesus. How much time him took it? Seven times, daddy. Seven? Why oh, you love number seven, Saman? You sure are seven? Seven times in the book of life. Look at him, I eat. Miss if I look at him, I eat it. Him eating, thou shalt not bow. Me and him when he cook. <laughs> me and him when he come up here. Tell him same enough a bow. Where is it written that you must bow? Him bow. Bow. What kind of shea about here? Check if she cry out your name. Thou shalt not call the Lord God name in vain. Thou, thou shalt not, shall. Hold on, hold on, I should write that part in Hebrew. Hold on. Hebrew, Hebrew. Um, well, let me write that later. Bam, kill him. Kill a man. When I breed him, sister in law. In bred a woman. And she was not a virgin. She was not a virgin. But you know that God does whatever He wants to do. He gives life, He takes it away. Who am I to question God? That is the mystery of God. That is the beauty of God. That is the reason why we serve him. That is the reason why we honor him. That is the reason why we look up to him. That is the reason why we praise him. Because we know that even when we're doing the doggy, we're getting... Next time we do it good. You no? Know? Yeah. Yeah. 
and he spilled it on the ground. And the Lord was not pleased and killed him. Then Judah said to Tamar, to his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow at thy father's house. Remain. Yeah? He said. <laughs> I don't know who write this. I don't think I was smart in here. So I don't know write it to a, 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 a capital R. I think I, I, think I, I smart in here. Remain. <laughs> so he said, he said. Then said Judah to Tamar, his daughter-in-law. Remain a widow at thy father's house. Remain a widow. Don't sex nobody. Don't give away the something. Don't look left. Don't look right. Go to thy father's house and do not sex anyone. You already sex two brother. You're, you have morals. You already sleep with two brother. So go to your father's house and remain a widow. Because you are good as. You are good girl. You are good woman. You sleep with two brother. And God killed the two of them. You are good girl. But in this modern time, yeah, you know, if we know a woman will sleep with two brothers, and the two of them dead, you know, so we just said a woman they are crosses. No, 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 no. Me want somebody to be real honest with me this morning. If we know a girl, a woman will sleep with two brothers and the two of them dead, what would we say? We just say, you see it? And them nasty, this way them are mixed up in a make God and kill them off. We never say, yeah, man, I saw God work, man. God want him for, God want. We never said that. We ever said, that girl, they sleep with two brothers. You know, hear the Christian people, I chat them. Say, yo, one of the brothers just dead. And the body not even put on good. The body not even put on good. The girl, they with the next brother. And the next brother drive good on the road and crash and dead. You think that so they can play with God with them nastiness, with them dirty, nasty, dirty life with them all. You don't hear some pastor get up on stage and get up on pulpit and say, I tell you, them are mixing at them nastiness. And God, and God lick the brother. And when God lick the first brother, then no get the <laughs> and when uh, when God licked the second brother <laughs> and he licked down the second brother <laughs> and then he licked the second brother because they don't understand the powers of God <laughs> them things and them dirty life can't get them in the kingdom <laughs> and me tell your church brothers and sister <laughs> if you are asleep with your brother dead wife or your husband dead move your <laughs> we would not ignore that. We would not we would not judge them. One hundred percent, we wouldn't have no Christian. We are saying, yeah, man, a good thing. They might do man, a right thing. They might do a God at work, man. He's God at work. He's God allow the brother to go sex with him, dead brother wife. Yet it's so God move. I, we we wouldn't hear, we hear no church I promote that. Say, yo, if your brother die and he did not get his woman pregnant, go in unto her and get her pregnant because that is his seed. We don't hear that. Because if that was the case, I tell a long time some money that well, you know, long some man I look upon them brother wife. Some money that just kill them brother boy, you know, you know long some brother want to slap them. Go on, go on, give them brother wife one way I walk around in the body up in the air, everything around the back position, yourself ready for your back shot. You know how much, how much money that dead? If pastor did not preach that, so you can't go in unto your brother wife if him no breeder. And you figure breeder? Ah! And make certain say so you breeder? Because if you're not breeder, and bust the juice a ground, God a go kill you. The mount of brother would have missing boy. Yeah. Man, that just see a pie's name yet. Me not tell us a game there at. Yeah, yeah, why are we pass a pie's name, boy? The boy a wicked from your little boy, the boy jealous over me. Yeah, he man a good boy. At a matter of fact, me see him down the road with one girl over there. Yeah. 
Then if a man can't sleep with him, bread are dead. Him, him, him dead bread are wife. Then can you imagine a man and me a friend? I mean, no breed my woman and me and him are just friend. Him just say, yo, I'm never breeding. No, come here, bring it over. Man, I... Uh, uh, we had the uh, uh, girl, we had the ball over, we had, we had the ball over, yeah, ball over, we had ball over the man for my girl. A ball, yeah, ball over, dead man, my girl, my girl, I want to you, you know, see that dead already. Yo, just bring the, hey, girl, I want to you, man, you know, see how biblical things, man, I deal with, bring the pump pump, come, my girl. I want to you, you know, see the boy, I idiot boy, God make him not breathe you. Bring the pump pump, come at me, breathe you, I want to you, you know, see it. So Judah said to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow at thy father's house, till shall my son be grown. For he said, Lest peradventure he die also, as his brethren did, and Tamar went and dwelt in her father's house. Two brother. Me want to find a woman right now. We believe in this thing. If you tell me if she'd asleep with three brother. I want to find you. I want to marry to you. I want to give you a piece of me want give up. I want to give a piece of my inheritance. So me have, yeah, I want to deal with you. I need you. I need you. Fire you are going your stomach strong. I need you. I want to find a lady right now we go to church. One of them women that we always come on the page, come teach, we say we're wrong and we, we, we attack their foolishness. Me, me agree. Me agree, say we're stupid. So, true, we're stupid. Me, I beg you, please and thanks. Just let me know if you're asleep with three, brother. So, me can come link you after the service. Because me, me feel like me want to marry to a woman who sleep with three, brother. Me a bigger Christian, Arab, Muslim, Arab, whatever religion you in know, our subscribe to this thing. Me begging you, please, for, for be my wife. Me rate a woman who sleep with three brother and not even hide it. How you mean? Three of them. Me rate a woman who say, yeah, me proud. Me sleep with the three of them. What it? No shame to me game. If he fourth one come to me, listen to me, if him father get a next son, bring him come. Him father have one, him father just have a picnic, me a wait for him. Nobody touch this goodies until the little one they grow up. Nobody. Yeah, good goodies, stay good. All when you start, grey goody goody. Your day after the last one. Ju Judah, you have more picnic over there. A boy. Me a wait. Me love you. Are you me want married to? Sister, I soon call about me there at church. Hello? Hello? Tamar, you know, said Judah get an expit me. Our boy? A boy in get? Tell him some still there, I hold it. Tell him, say, me no sex nobody from me sex him last son. Tell him, say, nobody no touch it from me touch him last son. From him last son, get it, me no give nobody else me. Tell him, say, me day I see him, we are all it. <laughs> me like Judah. Judah, me like your son, them, them, them have, them have elongated penile. Me like your son, them, them bless you, see. Me no want nobody else but fear boy, them Judah. Teach me about morals. 
Who are you to come teach me, come tell me about my broke it down song? Who you you come tell me about my dance hall song? Them? And come tell and come, and come long, turn on the mouth cross where you come talk against dance hall. Who you know? Who you know turn on the mouth cross where you come, come talk bad about dance hall? Well, who are, me why you bad? Sister, bring it come. <laughs> me, me are the third brother, I forget you. Me are the, just let me know if you don't sleep with me and Steve, my brother. And Sam and Barry too. Mm-hmm. Oh, them two, one of them, one of them pass off still. So Judah told her to wait on his last son until him grow up. She gone too. She's not going to wait on the next boy till him grow up because he's not ready to eat yet. So he said, he said, go wait at your father's house. As the virgin, and in the process of time, the daughter of Shua, Judah's wife, died, and Judah was comforted, and went up unto his sheep shearers to Timnah, Timnath, he and his friend Hira, the Adulamite. And it was told to Tamar, saying, Behold, thy father in law goeth up to Timnath to shear his sheep. This is Judah, I go about in business. And somebody tell Freaky Freaky Tamar say. Somebody go tell Freaky Freaky Tamar say. The daddy. The daddy. Time now. Tamar. Tam. Tam. The daddy a come. If me see him pass your one day, if you, you want to see the old man look good, see how we eh? Remember say no? A Judah give him first picnic, that woman here, you know? So no Judah a go about in business and somebody, somebody tell Frankie Frankie Tamar say, the daddy passing by. Long time you not get touch. And the daddy looking good see we at a matter of fucking wife just dead. A boy look you want to sit Judah with him bow leg same way tema tema me think you need to put one for him too. So, Freaky Tamar. <laughs> he has said that the Judah come and what she do? And it was told Tamar, saying, Behold, thy father in law goeth up to Timnath to shear his sheep. And she put her widow's garments off her. She take off the old clothes, them, the long frock, them, the old rapid. She take it off and dress up in a one body right now. And covered. You remember that? And she put. Her widow's garments, long frock and long skirt, off her and covered her with a veil. That means you know, say she wrap up in a something see-through, like one, like, like curtain, one veil, and wrapped herself. So you know, say, body up at the, every, oh boy, yeah. And sat in an open place, which is by the way to Timnath, for she saw that Shella was grown. Shelaton, big man now, and she was not given unto him. What a lovely lady! Done with her two brothers already. And she, she said, the little brother grew up now, and she no get the freaking two. And two, she no get the freaking little brother now. She said, she was a freaking father. Hallelujah. Amen, church. Osalamatando. Woo. He can say, she already have two brother. She not got the freaking little one. The little one. <laughs> what? She not got the freaking little one. So she said, daddy, you're getting freak.
good as girl. Good as girl Tamar. Any good as girl sister there? Any good as girl church sister there? We will have hook me and my brother. Any good as oh Oh, Jesus came and died, so that not happen again. Let me figure. But we're not reach around this yet. We're not reach around this yet. We are talking when we are talk when this was allowed by God. And God is not a man to change his mind. So we don't know how to change and God not change his mind. We don't know how to say Jesus come and change it and God tell us straight in the Old Testament say, I am not a man to change my mind. It means say three brother fifth. That means say three brother fifth. And the father fifth. Two. Yeah, my Roger, that's how we are covering. Mm. But your kids them need to know what, what, what them teach we still do. So you have to explain to them if they if one of the, if one of the word them get out, explain to them, please. Here, 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 Roger. What we try, what we try, um, what we try and keep the and we you understand? So you know when we say up, you know say what we are dealing with. <laughs> but Robert, you see how it's funny? Me your children around and me and you. And we are the facts that them are children and we are trying to protect them from this story. You can imagine, Raja. We have had either story from with children who them take to Sunday school with this Bible. These are the morals where we teach with children and go, fuck your brother. <laughs> yeah. That is like something happened to one of your son, and you tell your next son, go, fuck your brother, woman. Go and fuck your brother, wife. <laughs> Morals. Good as girl, Tamar. <laughs> Tell me about your can play pan radio. Jamaican radio ban the word slam. Ban the word. Um, and some little something where we could have said in a song one time. Broadcast, broadcasting Commission ban it from radio. You can't say daggering on radio. But we can't have scripture. I tell you, we say, go fuck with brother wife. And the father can't fuck him son wife. What's the hypocrisy in a society, no man? Who knows the hypocrisy in a society? Then you tell me about morals. Hmm? <laughs> she royal. She's royal. So royal. She keep it in her family for true um, African. When Judah saw her, he thought her to be a whore because she had covered her face. And he turned unto her by the way and said, Go to, I pray thee, let me come in unto thee. For he knew not that she was his daughter-in-law. And I can you, Tamar, said, what wilt thou give me? <laughs> Tamar said, where are going to give me for the... <laughs> What you gonna give to me that thou may as come in unto me? Eh? What will you give to me for me, Guru? Eh? What ya uh, Judah? Oh, oh, you know my name. Oh, you know my name. Oh, oh, oh never mind. It's just a mistake. I, I, I. No. Oh, somebody tell me I say your name. Sir, sir, Mr. D, bandy leg man. <laughs> I, 
good looking old man. <laughs> good looking man. Where you gonna give me feet? What a, what a song does drop right in the re what a, what a song fitting for the reasoning? What a song fitting for the reasoning? Hmm? Tamar here say, good looking Judah. I soon tell you, you know, say Judah good looking. I soon tell you. Good looking at body Judah, sexy body Judah, I go down, go rear sheep. And she just take off the widow clothes, the long frock. And say, eh, mm -hmm. I go and put on a seat through curtain cloth and wrap myself and go down a road, you see. And I go and fling it for the old boy, yeah. You know, long him promise me him next son. And him no bother give me him next son. I go and make him pay with a Mm, mm, yeah. I go and make him pay with a mm, mm, yeah, you know, give me him son. Him give me two. And if he give me the third son, and him don't give me the third son, I go and mm, can you see? When I don't, can you see? What will thou give me that thou mayest come unto me? Come in unto me. And he said, I will send thee a kid from the flock. She said, Kid? You never promised me a kid that you don't give me him. He said, No, man, no, man, I go with me attack. She said, Oh, okay. Because, she, but how you know about kid? Oh, oh no, never mind. You don't know, see, I miss me more, miss man. That that does. That not really dead still. That that does. Me up, me up, me up, me up, me up, me up. Me does that. <laughs> Just me mind that. Me mind I wonder. For me read what is there. <laughs> and he said, I will send thee a kid from the flock. And she said, Will thou give me a pledge? Till thou send it. So she not believe him. Because I promised her a kid before and never gave him the kid. So it kind of makes sense when me I say. Because she hear kid, but she never really understand kind of from his flock. I you know say him had three sons and he promised her one of the kid. The little kid. See? But me don't never kid them say in the, in the book. So me don't really want me put a disclaimer, just me say so. See? What pledge shall I give thee? And she said, Thy signet and thy bracelets. She no want no more promise for no kid. Because she don't get promise for kid already. That is just me again. You know, exploring. And thy staff, that is in thy hand. And he gave it to her, and went in unto her, and breathed her. And the Lord was pleased. How we know this? Because he did not kill him. Let that sink in. His brother that did not breed her got killed. The father breed her and lived. What a mighty God we serve. What a loving, beautiful God we serve. I can't wait to go to heaven with him. Lord, I ask thee, please, to let me sit on thy right hand as your favorite son. Because I want to know what is your next move. So I'm going to run. The father breed it. And God not kill him. That's why we have to love God. I saw God things said, breathe your pitney them woman and live. 
Because mm. God said that for one. How we know this? Because God killed one of the sons. We didn't do it. So nobody can say, a man. Do these things and God give man free will. Because the man exercise him free will and bust on the ground and God kill him. And the father exercise him free will and breathe her and him live. You pray? What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. If any church sister is here and want to deal with me and my brother, please inbox me. My father dead, but we can't fight. Me, 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 have, a, um, me have a uncle. And she arose and went away and laid by her veil from her. Take off her pretty clothes. And put on the garments of widowhood. <clears throat> and Judah sent the kid by the hand of his friend to the Adolamite to receive his pledge from the woman's hand. But he found her not. Then he asked the men of that place, saying, Where is the whore? That was openly by the wayside. And they said, There is no whore in that place. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the men of this place said, There is no whore in this place. And Judah said, Let her take it to her, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this kid, and thou hast not found her. And it came to pass about three months after that it was told Judah, saying, Tamar, thy daughter-in-law, hath played the whore. And also, behold, she is with child by whoredom. And Judah said, Bring her forth and let her be burnt. Good body, Judah. Nice, decent, sexy body, Judah. Here said Tamar that he never bother give him son. Because Tamar heard that the brother where she did a wait upon, the third brother that she was waiting on, grew up and Judah did not give her the brother. So Judah heard that she give away the son. You remember this woman is not a virgin, you know. Remember this woman had sex with two brothers, you know. So she's no longer a virgin and Judah sent her to go live with her father to stay Celibate. So this woman feels not taken into consideration. She, her, her horniness not taken into consideration. Her sex drive not taken into consideration. The man says she is still a widow. Don't. Because she has such morals. After sleeping with two brothers, she has such morals where she stayed. A widow. But when she heard that the son grew up and Judah did not give her the son, she said, yo, me wa. She said, look how long me a hold up here. And this man ya promised me him last son. And the man, no give me him a wife. The shit out of him. <clears throat> when she was brought forth, she said to her father-in-law, saying, By the man whose these are, I am with child. And she said, Discern, I pray thee, whose are these? The signet, the bracelets, and staff. And Judah acknowledged them and said, She had been more righteous than I, because that I gave her not to Shela, my son, and he knew her no more. So Judah nobody touch it again. Judah say, yo, me make a mistake and breed her. So you don't know me not touch it again. And it came to pass in the time of her travail that behold, twins were in her womb. She's, a, she's pregnant with twins. Yeah. She's pregnant with twins. Me box cover. Huh. 
And it came to pass when she travailed that the point. Hold on, 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 hold on. Let me go read this again. And it came to pass in the time of her travail that behold, twins were in her womb. And it came to pass when she travailed that one put out his hand. You hear that? When she in a labor pain, one of the twins put out his hand. Put out his hand, out of his mother, vagina. Put out his hand. One of the twins. Then put out his head. Put out his hand. Hey, hey world. Hello. I'm about to come out now. So you know, say, what about Moss Boss? The kid put out hand. What about Moss Boss, you know? <whistles> and the midwife took and bound his hand with a scarlet thread, saying, this one came out first. And it came to pass as he drew back his hand. The maid grabbed him hand. And tie a tread pan it. And the baby drawing back in hand. Up in a mama. With the tread pan in hand. Boop. Drawing back in hand. With the tread pan it. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when he drew his hand. That behold his brother came out. So him now was on his way out. Draw back him hand, go back up in my mother womb, and him brother see where I go and say, you know what, God, give me pass. Boop! And pass him. And come out. And she said, How hast thou broken forth? Anybody feel redeemed? Anybody feel free? Anybody where? Walked away from this thing and start thinking critical. You feel redeemed. If if you had questions, remember when we just walked away, we were wondering if we were wrong. And we were like, suppose we're wrong. Do you feel redeemed? 
Just even the mere fact that you would not limit God to such um, ridiculousness. Because we know yeah, people say, yeah man, there must be something out there. And we don't have a problem with people thinking that because we don't know what is out there. We don't know how people get here. But <clears throat> don't you feel redeemed to know that where them tell we say I know it? And you just get to know that where them tell you say, I know it. You don't feel free. If you just know, say, even if you say, yo, there is something out there, there is a power, there is a higher power than yourself, even if you want to believe that, because I'm not against people who believe that, I'm not against that, part, that type of um, 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 doctrine there, because I don't know how people got here. You understand? Me just know my mother, and as a matter of fact, them tell me, say, I'm a mother. My mother tell me, say, she and my mother. I don't know how me get here. You understand? I just hear me here, say, me get here. Through the process there. But. Me can see how Carter get here. Me can see how Jalani get here. Me can see how Raina get here. Me, as a matter of fact. I was in the hospital when Raina was delivered. So me know. Say. Our mother. Gave birth to her. So based on that information. Me can say. You know what? Me know. Say. You know. Woman gives birth. But don't you feel redeemed. To know that. A woman in labor pain would not be worrying about which baby come out first. She just want to get it over with. Don't you feel as a woman then? Don't you feel redeemed? That looking at a woman or being a woman. As a woman, you just know say it's not possible for you to worry about which baby come out first. In a labor pain, where them say hot than any pain you man be never feel. You know, just feel redeemed. Are you gonna just stay ignorant? Huh? The baby put out his hand out of his mother. The maid tied a string on his hand. He pulled back his hand in and the other baby, Tamar, was actually... Obviously she was squatting. So that is to teach you that you must squat during um, giving birth, right? So she was looking and one baby come forth and she look and she see the hand. But the baby's head did not show. But when the other baby came out, Tamar cursed the baby because he breached by coming forward first. Because the one that put imagine you are squatting obviously because she could not be on her back and know what was going on. So Tamar was squatting, which is the right way to give birth. So the Bible is right. I'm assuming though, because it would have come on, come on, people. Unless they made them have a mirror. Yeah? So Tamar, oh my God, whoa, you know, so when lady a squat and them a feel pain and put on pan ya, so one on ya, so one on ya, so, for you know, yes, you can you, you, you catch a woman a pee pee, one on ya, so, one on ya, so, and she, where's a cut, she a cut piece in the bush, she, but you know, so she a pee pee, she feel really, she, But sisters, explain to me, you are giving birth and God already cursed you into having painful birth, right? Oh God, oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, you feel come first, come now. Ooh, I didn't put up my hand. Ooh. Then the next one come.
come out first and you will never see him head. There was nothing at that time to check what kind of baby was in the mother's womb. But the mother knew which baby pushed out the hand first. And cursed the baby because the baby breached and gave his name Fares. Because he breached, the mumma cursed him. He said, And it came to pass as he drew back his hand that behold his brother came out, and she said, How hast thou broken forth? Hey, Big and pitney, where you uh, big and pitney. This breach be upon thee, therefore his name was called Phares. And afterward came out his brother that had the scarlet tread upon his hand, and his name was called Zera. I don't know about you, you know, people, but I just feel relieved, you know, I just feel good. If you know, say, me reach an age, that, this age when I'm in, when I'm at now, maybe a half of my lifetime, and they never make me go to my grave being friggin' ignorant. I'm just glad, say, me at the point in life where whatever people want to do or say, because people speaking negatively about me is minute. To my freedom. It's minute to me realizing that this thing was made up by some people. To let me realize that this thing cannot hold me captive any longer. Anybody read this and still subscribe to these things. You're a, you're a prisoner. You, 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 got, you, you, you got caught. In a web of lies. Honestly. It's not me to tell you to free yourself. You have to just know. If you want to stay night, you stay night. You just did you the Anansi at work. And the Anansi keep wrapping you up in the web. It's not my duty to come tell you. If it's to think. You have to just find it now yourself to think. You have a cerebrum like how me have a cerebrum part on the brain. You not, you, me not supposed to use my part of the brain to think, and you not use the part of your brain to think. Me have my own cerebrum, you have your own cerebrum. You have to just use it. it it's there for you to think. Me not supposed to share my cerebrum with you. No. I mean, I think it, it's fair for me to share it with you. I don't think so. So I'm not here to tell anybody to don't listen to this, don't follow this, don't believe in it. No, 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 that's not what it is. Please, disclaimer. I'm just reading what is there and giving you a, a music video on it. I'm just acting out the words. So Fares was cursed. Let us fast forward quickly to something very important before we close out. Genesis 38, you learned about Pharaohs that was cursed. Now I'm going to tell you why God was killing or God killed. The, that's a possible reason. I don't want, I don't want people to um, flag me. One of the reasons that may have caused God to kill Onan. And allow Judah to breed Tamar. Let me show you why. <clears throat> Matthew 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, son of David, the son of Abraham. Listen to this carefully. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, 
the son of David, the son of Abraham. This is the lineage of Jesus Christ. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot Judas and his brethren. And Judas begot Pharez. And Sarah of Tamar. And Pharez begot Esram, and Esram begat Aram, and Aram begat Amidadad. Why is this important? Pharez that was cursed, David came from that lineage. The picnic were breached. Remember them tell us that Esau sold his birthright? They don't teach you that Pharez was cursed because he breached. His name is transliterated to breach. He breached and came forth before his brother. It was his brother that was supposed to be responsible for the lineage. Was supposed to be the one responsible for the lineage. But Pharez jumped first because Pharez wanted to be the one responsible for the lineage. So David and Jesus Christ came from a breached lineage. Jesus Christ came from a woman that is a harlot. Jesus Christ came from a lineage of a woman who went down to the road, played the harlot, Judas slept with her, gave her a twin, one of the twin actually is the forefather of King David, who is the father of who? Joseph. Even though I never Joseph, we are. But the Bible says that that lineage of Jesus come out. Huh? That is the reason why Jesus was so much into the harlots. That's why when the woman played the war and they were going to stone her, Jesus said, He that hath no sin cast the first stone. That is, not, not, that is not written in any Greek language or any Latin language. That is not in any of the, 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 um, the literature that they took when translating the Bible. That was not in any of the literature. Not in the Septuagint. None of them. None of them. Not in the Codex Aneticus. That Bible verse is not in anything prior to what is in the Bible. They added that basically to prove that Jesus has some form of empathy on the words. Because his lineage is from a, from, a, from, a, from, a, from a woman that, or his lineage was created through a woman that was a prostitute. That went and sold Judah some vagina. You have to know this. So Pharez, Pharez, see there? It says, and Judah... They call him Judas. And Judas begat Pharez. And Zerah of Tamar. And Pharez begat Esram. And Esram begat Aram. And he comes all the way. And Jesse. And, and Solomon begat. Solomon begat Boaz. And Boaz begat Obed of Ruth. And Obed begat Jesse. And Jesse begat David the king. And David begat Solomon. And Solomon begat Ro Ro Roboam. And Asad begat Josephat, and Ezekias begat Manasses, and Judah, Josias, Osias begat Jeconias, and after they were brought to Babylon, Jeconias begat Shalathiel, Salathiel, and Sorobabel begat Abuid, you know, and Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, whom was born Jesus, is called Christ. And so all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until the carrying away into the Babylon are 14 generations. And from carrying away into Babylon unto Christ as 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the wise when as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph. Exposed to Joseph, mean engaged to Joseph. Before they came in together, she was found the child of the Holy Ghost. So 
So even Mary came from the lineage of, 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 of thing there. So whatever we don't want to twist it. To say it was, it was only from God. But his mother is from the lineage of, 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 of Pharaohs. That came out of the whole um, Tamar chaos. K T Tamar drama. Mm. This is something that we held on to for years. So me just give thanks, eh? me can read, and me can analyze, and me have sense for no say. No matter what them want to tell you, the literature, what them give you, and claim say, every word is from God. At the matter of fact, it's up to you if you want to believe it, yes or no. Me not, not me to tell you not to believe it. That God really, really inspired people to write this. Because if this is the inspiration from God, what can I say? What can I say? Hmm? What can I say to a sister who think it's okay to sleep with two brother? Got mad because the third brother did not sleep with her and sleep with the father. What can I say about that sister? I can't judge that sister. Because if I'm going to judge that sister, I will be speaking against Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ came from the lineage of a woman who slept with two brothers and a father. And was angry that she did not get the third brother. I can't judge Christians. You see what I'm saying? I can't judge Christians. Because if I judge Christians, I'm going to have to judge Jesus. And I'm not judging Jesus. I'm just saying the story is there for you to read. It's right there. It's not me to tell you what to believe. I will not do that. I can just read it and, and show you and act it out a little way so you can even think. <laughs> Don't say that, Roger, because I'm going to flag your page. Don't say that, Roger. Take it down. Take it down, Roger. Mm -hmm. Then we, then we, then we ban your page. Then ban my page just because I'm sure a little boy with, 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 with um, a brother, a black man, and his white wife um, starved to death and, and, and abused to, to, you know, to the point where it was hard watching. So be careful. Kimra Shimli said, it's not of God. Kim, Kimra, it's not for me to, 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 to discuss with you whether it is of God, yes or no. The literature is there for you to read. Somehow we, we go to school and we, and we claim so we're educated, but you know, when it comes down to this part of the literature, we, we play idiots. God killed the second son because the second son did not get the woman pregnant, his sister-in-law pregnant. What more than that you want to hear? You tell me that it is not of God. God killed the brother that did not get his sister-in-law pregnant and, and, and spared the father who got her pregnant. What you're talking about is not of God. The Bible clearly tells you that God killed the brother. God got angry. God was so emotional. God is involved in daily, day, in daily activities, in our daily activities to the point where he is watching her brother, his dead brother's wife. And because the brother did not breed her, God got upset and killed the brother. Don't come here and tell me that and act as if we're stupid. Save that for people who, 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 who cannot, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, think logical. You see what I say? Stop telling us that, oh, it is not of God and blah, 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 blah. Because you clearly see that God is the one who orchestrated the whole thing. Come on, man. It is written, Jesus came out of the lineage. David came out of the lineage, of the, of the action. And David was a man of God's own heart. So if David was a man of God's own heart, and David came out of this lineage of, of this drama that unfolded in Genesis 38, then who am I to even argue with Christians? Or argue with believers? I can't argue with you. There is no way for me to win a conversation if you cannot see that this thing here could not be 
from a, from a, from a, you know, from a creator or whatever you want to call, whatever it is, that created all these wonderful things and seasons and birds with so much sense. The birds, them have sense. All the monkey, them have sense. All the dog, them have sense. You see what I say? Come on, man. It's like, it's like we limit God. You say you believe not God, but you're ungodly. You are ungodly. Because if you really believe that God did a kill a man for breeding fit, that did not got his sister-in-law pregnant, then that means that you are, un, you are ungodly. We are godly. We would not for one minute think that God will kill a man for breed him, if, because he not breed him, 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 him sister-in-law. So we are the ones who are godly. You are ungodly to think that God would be interfering in this drama. What do you think? God is up there watching soap opera? And orchestrating the whole thing? Like a puppet just drawing us by the strings? Then it, that is God and you want us to serve this God. Then it makes no sense for us to even worry about our future because God is orchestrating everything. So do not tell us. Okay, sorry, 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 sister. Sorry, I think I missed the first part. I told you right it. Okay, Mr. see what you say now, sister. Sorry, sister. My bad. May I apologize. Because you have some people. The reason why I'm speaking this way, sister. You have some people come and say, no, no, no. It's, 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 it's man do that. It's not God. It has nothing to do with God. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. 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 I told you word it, sister. I say it is not God. You see what I say? But for the people who say, and, and the reason why I'm speaking on it, because you wrote it, sister, is because you have some people will come and say, oh, it is not from God. It's man, man. But when you say to them, okay, man did the whole thing. No, 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 no. It's from God. So what is it? What is it? Because somebody got to say they exercise their free will. Yeah? But then we see clearly where God killed the man for not getting her pregnant. And then we see how she put on um, harlot clothes and go get pregnant for the father and we, we, we can't expect our children and, and our women to have any morals if we tell them the story and tell them say it's, a, it's of God our sisters them say when we sisters them go sleep and we three four man our sisters them go cheat and we why we want to kill them why why would we want to even kill a sister or hurt a sister or beat up a sister because a sister go sleep with her next man you're lucky she could have done fuck your brother. Tamar fuck two brother and a father. And she was rewarded with a lineage where even Jesus, the greatest thing that walked earth, came out of that has million, millions of people worshipping him. Yeah? You see that? You look, you should never have it. Fuck your brother. What should you do? Fuck your best friend. Big her up. It could have worse. She could have been your uncle. Could have been your brother. Could have been your father. You look, you should never fuck your father. You beat her for sex. A, a, a man we don't know. Yeah, and then you come take up Bible. You need to read it. Tamar are good as. Tamar are good as. Jesus come out of the lineage there. Out of the drama there. She are good as. Remember that. She said, okay. Judah. You know me, me fuck the third brother. What y'all see? Anytime you pass back down, you may have fuck you. Yeah. God knew this. God knew she was going down there to meet him. God let her conceive. You tell me, say, who give me life? Okay. Who gave life to you, Mr. Vegas? How are you here? You're talking about you are God. Did you give yourself life? No. God gave me life. Same thing he did with Fares and the other brother. 
that came out of the father sleeping with his sister in his daughter in law. Good as Tamar. Goody goody Tamar. And we are calling women whores. And we have a pastor where I say woman are whore for wear little makeup and look nail polish. We they are called woman whore for wear makeup and nail polish. But we have a Bible where we, where, 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 where we, where we recite. Where we say are the words from God. And in the beginning was the words and the words was it God and the word is God. We have a Bible now we hand. Where Tamar, our father-in-law, our husband, his brother, and wanted to cook the last picnic too. But we call women whores for wearing the makeup. But we now say the lineage that Jesus and David came out of. Eh? We not talk about that. We not talking about the lineage. We not talk about goody goody Tamar. We talk about Jezebel. Eh? We call woman Jezebel. Dirty Jezebel. Whenever did our brother wife. No, oh, what's it? Our brother, brother, no, brother what? Brother, brother. Dirty Jezebel. Idiot, dirty Jezebel. Where them let the dogs them eat her. We not read nothing with Jezebel. Father. We don't read none where Jezebel bread her. But as she we call Jezebel. Huh? Because the way she dressed. Okay. Goody goody Tamar. Good as for them. So why are you coming telling me about morals? Huh? Why you come telling me about morals? What is moral? What is it? It can be the definition of what I want to say. Because Tamar are good as. Tamar are good as. The Lion of Judah. Jesus Christ is called the Lion of Judah because he came out of Judah. Back. That's why the Rasta the Matabo Lion of Judah. That is the reason why Christian are talking about Lion of Judah. Because Jesus, when them says the Lion of Judah, came out of Judah back through his daughter-in-law. Tamar good as. As from this day, you can't call no woman who sleep with two men. Our two brother, our three brother. No name. You don't have the rights to. So when you get up and judge people and criticize people and point finger upon people, go read your Bible. And see if you don't read about goody goody Tamar. Good as for them Tamar. Me no want be not my girl. This morning, people remember, we have to build a temple of hope. So look on the top of the page, you see the GoFundMe. Make sure and say you subscribe to it and um, donate to build a temple of hope because maybe at them type of reasoning, yeah, I'm going to be the, the catalyst in for, in, in, yeah, to, to get black people, especially black people, to start think. Maybe at them type of reasoning, yeah, because you know, say, if, you, if, if you put me in front of the congregation, it's more effective. Because they're going to come, people. They're going to come, you know. They're going to come and it's going to spread. But it can't work on Facebook because Facebook has censored the thing. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, for the people, not, the Facebook is not letting... Um, Facebook is not letting... Um, letting people... Certain type of people see the live. So you realize enough Christian and them people are not really come on the live again because they don't get the notification. See? So it's only like them, them sense it to a certain demographic. See? Um, so we need a temple of hope where we can reason out the thing with the people and without being judgmental and all of these things and without even condemning anything that them subscribe to. You understand me? I say, because trust me, when you act it out and show them, if them still hold on to where them hold on to, you can't help them. 
You understand know, so me? I say, so make certain so you know, subscribe and you know, and make sure you go follow Mr. Vegas TV because them them said a page I would have get taken down because me I report child abuse. See? So we can't do nothing about that. We have to keep being who we are and keep speaking out against injustice. See? Yeah. And keep speaking out against people that abuse children. If you want to take down the page for that, we cannot do anything about it, but we will not stop speaking against um, um, the, 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 the abusers. Both, you know, you know, you know, child abusers or children abusers or women abusers. See? Yeah. So, a little more. Next, next week, Sunday, we draw for your next thing. I don't know what we're going to talk about next week, Sunday, but we're still in Genesis, because we have what it more in Genesis. See? Big up on yourself. Look more. And so on next week Sunday, big up on yourself, seeing who open to get too tied up next week Sunday, because trust me, I have the pressure, pressure on for me. And the sister, when we did misconstrued, where you did, I said, I apologize again, seeing, but you never did conspicuous enough what you were saying. So, because we have some people who love to talk about, I know God do it, and then, you know, it's clear, it's clearly saying that it's God did it. So, we just said, I make certain say, we're not, we're not, we're not make that getaway. Seeing, but again, we apologize. I apologize for the, the, um, the mis- understanding. Big up on yourself. One love.